Amach, Amos 6. Woe to them that are at ease in Sion, and trust in the mountain of Shomoron, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Yashadael came, pass ye unto Kelna, and see. And from thence go ye to Chamath, the great. Then go down to Gath of the Perishtim. Be they better than these kingdoms, or their border greater than your border? Ye that put far away the evil day, and cause the seat of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory, and stretch themselves upon their couches, and eat the lambs out of the flock, and the calves out of the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the viol, rather of the viol, and invent to themselves instruments of music, like David, that drink wine in bowls, and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Yosef. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretched themselves shall be removed. Adonai Yahuwah has sworn by himself, says Yahuwah, the Elohai Sevaoth, I abhor eth the excellency of Yaakov and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein, and it shall come to pass, if there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die. And the man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burns him to bring out the bones out of the house and shall say unto him that is by the sides of the house, Is there yet any with you? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold your tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of Yahuwah. For behold, Yahuwah commands, and he will smite the great house with breeches and the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plow there with oxen? For ye have turned judgment into gall, and the fruit of righteousness into hemlock. Ye which rejoice in a thing of naught, which say, Have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? But, behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Yashadael, says Yahuwah, the Elohai Sevaoth, and they shall afflict you from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of the wilderness.